So when it comes to the barrel length, so this is kind of an optimal build for whenever you're gonna be doing like all around mainly. This is great clearing out rooms, you're avoiding, uh, you know, hitting doors or, you know, those confined spaces. But this is a 10-3 barrel with a suppressor on it. It's gonna change significantly if you're doing like an SR-15 with like a 20 inch barrel, you're gonna have a very big difference in bullet trajectory. So at this 10.5, we were talking a little bit earlier about uh, optimal burn. So for a 5.56, the max burn, whenever all your powder burn out is at 20 inches. One thing you have to keep in mind is at that 20 inches, your round is going at a roughly, I believe it's 3,100 feet per second. Now, when you're going down to this length, you're reducing that significantly to roughly 2,500. So that's a pretty stark difference. Now, when it comes to some optics like this uh, Trijicon here, a lot of Trijicons, the ACOGs, come with, it's called a bullet drop compensator. It's built into the optic for you to be able to shoot at 100 at the dead center, and then you'll have a 200, 300, 400, 500. Wherever you're hitting with it, wherever you're shooting, um, if you're shooting at 300, you aim at 300, you'll hit 300. Now, that's gonna be different depending on what barrel length you have. So for this, there's gonna be significant more drop because you have uh, significantly lower speed of the round. So that's something you have to keep in mind. So for me, uh, I usually run a longer barrel if I'm expecting to be in austere environments where I'm you know, in the open, I'm not going through buildings as much, but it's more wide open where I want to reach out further. Still keeping in mind that I want a lighter weapon to be able to travel with, but that longer reach for you is going to do a lot in those kind of environments. Something like this is obviously better for an urban environment, just like Dalen was saying, he uh, lives around more of an urban environment. This is gonna do a lot more for him because he's not reaching out five, 600 meters. He's staying within one to 200 meters. So this is gonna be the way to go. But keep in mind, if you're buying an optic with a bullet drop compensator, that barrel length is going to matter. And it's going to matter a lot. And if you have a different size barrel and you're trying to use one of these, you're gonna get really confused really quick.